And welcome back to another lap. I actually asked our uh, Blue Prism folks if I could get the Dr. Evil swivel chair that they have in the Austin Powers movies, but it uh, would have been a lot cooler intro. However, they said no. Okay, bad jokes aside, let's talk about the lab today. What do we have in store for you? Today is gonna be something really cool in Blue Prism. It's exception handling. Now, Blue Prism digital workers always love the happy path and they love to just knock out all these automations, but sometimes that's not real world right? Sometimes exceptions will happen, such as maybe your internet crashes or goes down or an ERP system reboots or a website has we're not on the right page. So rather than just be stuck, we can flag it as an exception and then the digital worker could go move on to other items. We could also do some really neat things like retry loops, which you've seen a little bit in these labs. So without further ado, let's get into the lab. As always, make sure you read the introduction on these uh, instructions. There's a lot of really good content in this one as always. So make sure you take a look at that. Enough talking, let's get into the lab. Ooh, exception handling, lab nine. All right, folks, we are in the process studio. You know the drill, we've got lab nine open and we're ready to go. Now there's a lot of really important information um, and probably one of the longest introductions uh, in the exception handling because it is crucial import is crucially important. Good Lord, Corey, we can't talk today. Um, why so important and why such a long intro in the uh, learning lab instructions? Simply put is when you take time to build your automations and you give them to your digital worker, the last thing you want is for these to be breaking, right? You want them to be resilient, right? All around that resiliency pillar in the robotic operating model. Well, not a pillar, but it's an important keynote. Anyways, you get the gist. Um, this is an important one. They're all important, but this is one that you want to do so that you don't have to always be worried about your automations breaking or anything like that. So, you've read the instructions, you've listened to me babble now for almost an entire minute. Um, and we are ready to go. Now, a couple things have changed in some of the uh, pages, um, so you may want to review those. Also, get data, those applications in that page may need to be reset um, depending on where you left off. Okay, so we're gonna go to the get data subpage. So if I can get my mouse ready to go, okay? Um, notice we have no exception handling that has been removed on purpose. So now we're going to add a recover stage to the right of this get news. Let's go and drag and drop that uh, recover stage right down here. And you'll probably want to get a resume one as well while you're at it. So it should look something like this so far. Now on the recover stage right here, go ahead and double click that. So the recover one, okay? And we're gonna check the box that says limit the number of times this recover is attempted. And we're gonna set the maximum tense of three, right? That way it's not just keep going. If it happens a fourth time, this is where the exception is gonna uh, be triggered within this block and the recover stage will not catch it. Exactly as if you had a counter like you made in the earlier laps, right? So much easier to do than the old fashioned retry loops, but those are also good, just a little bit simpler way and a little bit different. So go ahead and call this recover, hit okay. Bob's your uncle, there we go. Now we'll go ahead and link these two together. So we've got your recover and your resume. And you can change this title just to resume if you'd like, I'm just gonna leave mine as is. Now in the instructions, there's something that I wanna point out and it says anyone who has ever used any technology knows that if something isn't working, most of the time you can fix it by turning it off and turning it back on. Or as the famous British TV show, The IT Crowd famously coined, have you tried turning it off and on again? Great show if you have not watched it, by the way. I think it's still on Netflix. Okay, so with that, we're going to go ahead and put a page. So let's grab a page right here and we're gonna have it call close. So create existing reference, close, finish, there we go. And go ahead and link that together. So now we'll need to launch our browser again because well, we you know, resumed it, right? So go ahead and drag another page up here. And this one we're gonna link to start, start up. There we go, and get your link open, and we'll go and link these together. So you should have a nice little square kind of right here. 
and make sure your close and startup stage are outside of this block. Um, but again, you could maybe have a problem as the instructions say within this close. So maybe you have an error in there. And in that case, we want to have a recover over here and a resume stage right here and grab a block. And let's put this right around there. We'll link the recover to the resume and the resume to the startup. Again, make sure these two are in a different color block. And I believe the instructions even say to have it different colored. There we go. And so you should look exactly like this. Again, if you get stuck, don't, don't freak out. Remember, you can always check the answer key, but uh, you should be, uh, by now, this is probably one of our easier uh, pages. They're all pretty easy, but um, this is a pretty easy start. Okay, so we are now really rocking and rolling. So we're gonna go back up to the main page. Okay, so hopefully you guys are still with me right now. And now we're gonna to want to decide how we wanna deal with these exceptions that bubble up from various sub pages or objects. Now I'm not gonna go up into bubbling. Uh, we've certainly talked a bit about it and if you are on following along in your pages, this is page six of the instructions and page seven and it's gonna talk quite a bit, a few paragraphs about mark item as exception. I'm not gonna do that on the follow along but make sure you do read those. You can always take a look at them as here. Um, but you'll want to definitely uh, do some of the reading and the instructions on that. So now we're gonna add a recover stage inside this work mm -hmm, and a resume stage beneath it. So we're gonna do recover right here and a resume stage right here, okay? And of course, by the way, you can always change these fonts. It's doing this, I left the color there. So we'll go ahead and change those to black so they're easier to read. And finally, we're going to add a multi-calc stage right here in the middle. So go ahead and open up this uh, multi-calculation properties right here. And we'll call this exception handling. and not exception handling, exception data, okay? So it should look just something like this, and we're gonna to want to have two expressions right here. So you've added an additional row. The first expression will be exception type, and the exception will be exception detail. Now, I just simply, you, if you don't want to type this in, you can just uh, use the expression builder, the calculation, both of those are in there, okay? Make sure you don't have any typos or anything though if you're like me doing this, as that will derail this. And then we want to store in exception type and exception detail, okay? So we'll go ahead and grab those. Oops, there we go. Perfect, okie dokie. So it should look something like this in your multi-calc stage. And when we're gonna link these together, you're gonna wanna have your recover down to your exception data and your resume here. And then your resume, we're gonna build this out right now. So next to the resume, we're gonna get a page stage, like so. And this one will be a mark as exception. It's already been pre-built, so finish there and link that together like this. And we want to break this link right here and put an anchor stage, one more. So make sure you don't just link the anchor to anchor. Whoops, there we go. So we're gonna fix this all back. Make sure you link this item as exceptions. Please make sure you do that. You can space that a little more if you want to, but I'm just leaving it as is. Now in previous steps, we had this action stage. If you remember beating this in previous labs, this mark item as complete, um, but we already have a page here doing that for us. So you're gonna go ahead and delete um, this action stage down here. And we're going to basically add in a, another page reference to our mark item as completed. So drag and drop a page down here and reference this one to mark guys I'm completed. There we go. Link this to this, this to this, and then finally go ahead and delete this link one more time and we're gonna add another final page stage. 
right here, and this one's going to be the reset global data one. And then finish linking this all back together. 